Hey guys, this is Vivek from Gizbot and what we've got for you today is HTC U Ultra. So uh, this the device has been uh, sent to us by HTC, although it's not a retail package unit. We're going to show you how the device looks. box uh, as I mentioned earlier this is not a retail box but it is a unit which was sent to us by uh, HTC so this doesn't look so much promising but although the devices are intact inside let me open this up first okay first off you get the HTC uh, U Ultra which is really good looking with curved edges and uh, a mirror finish at the back secondly you will get uh, the case as well which is transparent and uh, it's a little plasticky though you have a charging adapter you have a usb type c uh, charging cable uh, you have again a usonic headphone which is considered one of the best in the, uh, that htc have come up with again it features a type c input rather than uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and uh, htc have also provided uh, quite a bit of uh, headphone earbuds and you will also get a cleaning cloth along with the device which will help you remove stains and fingerprints from your device and the last thing you will get to see is sim ejection pen uh, which almost all the devices uh, come along with okay let's take these things away for a while and talk about HTC U Ultra so this port uh, is released at the price of 59,990 and it's got all the premium features that one should expect out of that cost in the first you'll get a really glossy and mirror finish back panel and uh, even at the front you have a really glossy finish uh, which is basically Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and it's the only device with uh, this uh, feature right now uh, talking about the camera it's got 12 megapixel uh, rear sensor with a dual tone flash as well it's also got a laser focus at the same time talking about the front facing shooter you've got a 16 megapixel one and uh, the display size is 5.7 inch lcd 5 panel and you've got a fingerprint sensor at the bottom volume rocker and lock button at the side at the bottom you'll get a htc boom uh, sound and audio box and a type c usb port you have a microphone on both the edges as well and on up top you'll get a dual sim card slot which also adds as a memory card unit it's powered by snapdragon 821 processor and uh, although it's an old processor uh, but it's one of the most powerful processors yet uh, not mentioning the 835 which samsung galaxy 8 is going to fe feature anyways uh, the display is quad hd and it's really crisp and sharp apart from that you get a 64 gb inbuilt memory and has got a 4 gb ram as well the memory can be further updated up to 2 terabyte that's what the company says though there are quite a lot of features that can be explained out here first the dual display this is basically a scrollable uh, display although it is lcd as well so you get to see all your notifications and customize this one as well you get the regular sense ui as well so the blink fade as usual sits on the left side corner uh, one thing which uh, is a little bit difficult to uh, take out here is that the display regarding the display size and the battery capacity the phone uses lcd panel and it comes with a 3000 mh battery which doesn't suit the normal power usage because lcd normally takes uh, quite a lot of uh, power so a little bit of uh, increase in the battery would have been a lot better out here the display play looks really good let me check out the camera so camera even camera is quite good out here and also looking at the google pixel devices which was made by htc i think uh, we should uh, not doubt the ability of the camera that is being provided with this uh, premium handset the HTC U Ultra also comes with latest Android which is not good and it's flavored with its um, own UI which is Sense and uh, one of the things which I didn't like about the headphone although uh, it gives a very good sound quality is the fact that it doesn't have a volume uh, control up here so uh, that was a little bit of a nudge to me because uh, I normally uh, tune a lot of uh, headphone uh, volume controllers I use them quite a lot 
so that was one uh, thing which is missing out here apart from that HTC U Ultra looks really nice and uh, a must-have device for all those premium phone lovers anyways we'll come up with a full-on review of this handset very soon till then have a good time and stay tuned to this board follow us on Facebook Twitter and G plus as well and subscribe to our YouTube channel